hey guys good morning to all of you in the amazing steno channel today i have to go through the transcription number three from the kailash chandra magazine so get ready five four three two one start i am thankful to you for having given me this opportunity long last to say a few words on the budget already much has been said and i think the finance minister has come in for his share of congratulations as well as criticisms so there is not very much to say but i should like to say a few words the increased development expenditure and the absence of any new taxation has earned for the budget a good response even from the businessmen i especially welcome the relief given to the middle classes by raising the exemption limit of income tax in respect of personal income no doubt this is some relief to the middle classes but i would request the finance minister if he could to raise this exemption limit from rupees 4000 to rupees 6000 as that would give substantial relief to the middle classes i am indeed glad that the taxation inquiry commission has been appointed with dr john mathai as the chairman and i am sure that many of the vexed problems may be solved through this commission at the same time i would request the finance minister to put off the estate duty bill for the present since this inquiry commission has been appointed and they may go into this question for i feel that it is not an opportune moment to put on more taxes on the already as mr godkill has pointed out that there are so many taxes on the people the people are overburdened by taxes and they are just trying to recover their stability so in regard to estate duty i would ask him to consider about it my reason for asking it to be postponed is as i have said that the people are still facing economic distress and then our government is not able to offer the amenities which other countries have where the estate duty exists such as free compulsory education for children free medical aid homes for the poor and the destitute old age pension etc so my humble suggestion is that this point may be considered by the taxation inquiry commission i agree that there is a brighter side of the picture and that instead of continually harping on our poverty we should also see the bright side we are making encouraging progress towards laying the foundation of a welfare state with the cooperation of all and the implementation of the five year plan i am sure sure that we should be able to lay the foundations and fulfill the dreams of india it is indeed encouraging to know from the finance minister that there is a tendency of lowering food prices 
all over the world and in that case the prices in our country too would be lowered regarding defense for obvious security reasons i do not agree with my friends who say that the expenditure should be curtailed it is not advisable to take any undue risks and slacken the defense arrangements indeed defense is one of our valuable assets although a strange to say there seems to be adverse opinion in some quarters i agree with what general carrieps once said that god and army are remembered only when there is trouble the army consists of the most disciplined and loyal set of young men it would not be proper to effect economy in the pay of these brave officers as it would not be an incentive for the right type of young men to join the army and it would become ineffective and inefficient i believe already officers who were drawing rupees 1400 as their pay are now getting only rupees 700 and about rupees 100 as allowance that is they are getting half of what they were getting before it is very hard for those officers on field duty to establish separate establishments for their families and for their children and i would especially appeal to the finance minister to see that the family allowances may be restored to those officers who are on field duty economy in army could be affected in other ways there is a scope for more efficient operation of defense industries which process seems slow and why per purchase policy of utilizing goods and stores indigenously manufactured preference should be given to country made war materials such as could be produced here and there would be cheaper than foreign made goods i may also suggest that the armed forces who are not on field service or under any operational commitments could be utilized for giving military training to the youths in schools and colleges which would teach discipline and loyalty the university authorities should make military training as part of their compulsory education just as they have adopted social domestic and political sciences the national cadet corps is already inculcating military training in some universities such as bombay and calcutta but if military training is made compulsory for university students it will go a long way so friends it's over and thank you for your patience one term there was the, uh, that is kariya kariyappa and i have pronounced that word kariyaps so sorry for that again thank you